I'm Judy Massam and I'm 80 and in May I had a total knee replacement with Mr Britton and the robot Rosa. So I'm Ed Britton, I'm a consultant orthopaedic surgeon and I specialise in hip and knee surgery. Traditionally what we would do is uh, we, we would use a generic jig and that fits everybody. Um, well, as, as we know, not everybody has got the same anatomy, same bone shape, same alignment or ligament balancing of their knee. And so with the robot, what we can do is we can assess, assess these parameters real time during the operation using various sensors that, that are picked up by the robot. We can then devise an optimal plan through which we can then execute some perfect cuts using the robotic arm to give us the perfect sizing, placement, alignment and balancing of the knee. And hopefully this will uh, evolve to, to give you better pain relief, quicker recovery, uh, um, and better long-term functional outcomes. So the surgeon still has full control throughout the procedure, and the robot is there to assist the surgeon with regards to accuracy. And it really is incredibly accurate. So it places our cutting block next to the patient. We attach devices to both the femur and the tibia which communicate with the robot so the robot knows where the knee is in real time. And if you move the patient's knee five mils to the side, the cutting block will move five mils to the side. By just in position, the computer will then tell us how the knee will feel when they've completed the bony cuts. So we know how the knee will feel before we've done the cuts rather than historically, we've only known how the knee feels after we've done the cuts. And a good take on robotic knee surgery is why not use a tool that helps me do the job more accurately? Anything that helps us do the surgery more accurately is likely to lead to a better outcome. It's evolved to be a really important tool to help us improve the outcomes of knee replacement surgery. And I see the main benefits as in improving the accuracy of planning the surgery and also the accuracy of performing or executing the operation. I've had bother with my knee for quite a few years getting in out of the car, I had a driving job where it just got worse and worse. Stairs, walking, couldn't go into town on the bus, go to the shops, it would give way. So it'd been like that for a couple of years, really bad. The initial process is you arrange an initial appointment with myself. During that appointment, I get to know you, find out what makes you tick and what you want to achieve with regards to your knee. We'll then go into a detailed history about your knee pain or knee symptoms and how this is affecting you. Often, knee arthritis will be diagnosed in a simple x-ray and this may be all the information we need to make a treatment plan. If we decide on knee replacements and in particular in robotic knee surgery, then we need further x-rays to assess them for the robotic surgery. And then we'll aim to proceed with surgery within six to eight weeks of your first consultation. Came to see Mr Britton and I couldn't hardly walk into his office. He filled me full of confidence and he said I was an ideal candidate for the robot. So you leave it to them, don't you? I was in his hands and it was it was very calming and and very fills you full of when you come out you think I'm gonna be fine you know because none of my family wanted me to have it done I was too old I'd never walk again I'd be with a stick and everything and I told Mr Britton that and he laughed and he's I was too old he said I've just done a 92 year old lady so I'm sure I can manage to do you. What can you say, it's amazing. You know, you, this, from the reception staff to the lady that brings you lunch, the, to the cleaner lady, um, they were all just fantastic. I do all of the approach to the operation. I prepare the bone surfaces. Uh, when the robot comes in once the joint's been exposed and guides, it's important it's a guide, it, it doesn't do. And, and, and that hopefully will give us far better stability uh, and a more natural outcome or natural movement of your knee giving you the better functional outcome in the long term. So from a, from a recovery point of view, um, the initial phase is very similar to a standard knee replacement. However, hopefully you'll have slightly uh, less pain and a quicker, a quicker recovery because what we hope to have achieved is a perfect leg alignment for you and perfect ligament, ligament balancing. So your knee replacement should feel a little bit more natural than, that, than one that's just been put in a generic position that everyone has. Obviously did all my exercises every day. I was driving within six weeks. Yeah, I was I had to come up and see the physiotherapy team and I got Alex, who was absolutely amazing, very kind, very patient. And uh, it showed me what to do. We did all the exercise together because the main thing is to get the knee back. You've got to get it right back. And he said, if you don't do it, you will never get the bend back on the knee again. 
I literally was wa walking around the house and doing you know, pottering around and doing things literally straight away. And I went to Euston with my grandson who was 23 and he said, Nana, it's so nice to see you walking properly. And uh, it was really nice to have the movement back and be able to get up and down and everything. Oh, my life's loads better with my knee.